National Aeronautics and Space Administration. We're going inside. Who knows what we're going to see inside? A Martian, maybe? Actually, a rock from the moon. You think I'm on an island? I'm not. I'm on the moon. Project Formulation Building. This is where all the new ideas begin. Who knows the brain power inside that right now? This is the Dawn Project as the dawn of the solar system. Now you have to have intelligence to work here. See ya. Now that we're here, what's, what's the future going to be? Well, I'm not very good at predicting the future, but it's going to be exciting. Can I be here too? <laughs> <laughs> One of the technologies that makes Dawn work is ion propulsion, which I first heard of in a Star Trek episode when Captain Kirk and Mr. Spock and Scotty talk about how impressive it is that this alien ship has ion propulsion. And in fact, you can even hear Captain Kirk say, advanced ion propulsion is beyond even our capability. But you know what? It's not beyond our capabilities now. No. What's the TIE Fighter? What is that? Well, the TIE Fighter that Darth Vader and the Evil Empire uses to fight Luke Skywalker and the Rebel Alliance. Well, in the Star Wars universe, TIE twin ion engine. Oh. And yet Dawn has three ion engines. So we do the Star Wars TIE Fighters one better. Besides the scientific benefits of Dawn, it's just plain cool. I'll say. To me, these are missions of human kind. I think of Dawn as a robotic ambassador to the cosmos. It's wonderful. And to me, everybody participates in a mission like this. Anybody who just wants to look beyond the next horizon. Anybody who has that passion for adventure and exploration. Anybody who feels any of these participates in a mission like this. We're going to go into the Deep Space Network. Deep Space Network, right here. Three countries, Australia, Spain, United States. We're in mission control now. And Dawn is communicating. Because all data from interplanetary space comes through this room, we call it the center of the universe. At JPL tradition, we eat a lucky peanut before every event. I cannot tell you what an incredible experience it was and the knowledge I've learned and God bless you all for having me.